Hi, what's your name? Good morning, my name is Judith Burke. And where do you stay? I stay currently in a boat club. I used to stay in Sopenbach, the other side of town. Okay, how old is your child? Um, I have two children, um, one of whom is now 18 and the other one is 16 and they were in the first batch that joined the school when it first opened in uh, 97. Okay, yeah. so what kind of institutes uh, were you looking out for them? I just recently come from England, I'd relocated here. I was one of the sort of few expats who were coming in at that time and I was looking for somewhere um, that offered fun uh, as much as anything else as well as a learning environment and also that they would be safe. Okay. Um, I could leave them there knowing that there would be a, a really safe, uh, fun environment and that they'd want to go to school every day. That was basically what I was looking for. Okay, so what are the options you considered for the same? Um, to be honest, in those days there weren't that many schools um, compared to now. I know that there are many schools that have sprung up um, offering nursery and pre-nursery education. Mm -hmm. um, having said that, I, I have a lot of friends in the city who still have kids at this age um, and they talk to me about other alternatives. I would still say that Little Elves offers one of the best um, environments you could possibly be looking for, namely because of the principal who runs the school. Okay. So, you know, how, how had your experience been with Little Elves? Uh, could you tell us two good sure, things about it? Sure, sure. Um, my experience was this. My daughter, who's now 18, started first, and then my son came two years later. They couldn't wait to leave home every morning to come here, and I think that says it all. And when I used to pick them up two and a half hours later, they didn't want to come home. They were so happy, they loved the experience so much, they had fun, but at the same time they learnt a tremendous amount. Compared to my son who was three years older than my daughter at that time and had come from a nursery school in England, okay. um, what they were learning and the sort of quantity as well as the quality was amazing. It was absolutely excellent. So, okay. you know, I can't rate it high enough from the point of view of educational standards as well as having fun. Okay. Yeah. So, would you have any suggestion for Little Lips? Um the point is, I could say, you know, open up another school, but I think the whole point about Little Elves, or the USP of Little Elves, is that it's a small environment. It has grown over the years. When we started in 97, and it was, this was the first batch she took in 97, having set up the school here in Pune, because she was in Jamshedpur, uh, uh, I think, okay. for 20 years running a school there. So Shana's mystery has a very long track record of nursery education, and I think that's the number one thing that parents should consider. Mm -hmm. She's not just come up overnight. She's not somebody who's running it because it's a business and she's earning money out of it. She doesn't need to do this. She, in effect, could be very happily retired, doing absolutely nothing with her time. But she loves children and she loves educating, in the true sense of the word, which is bringing out the potential of children. And I think that's very unique because many schools that I've seen over the years, and I've worked with other, other you know, institutions, I'm a trainer, I'm in education myself, mm -hmm. it's about business, it's about how many students that you take. This is not the ethos of the school. It's about taking the right number so they get the right attention and enjoy themselves and learn. So okay. do I have any things to say that could make it better? No, it's perfect as it stands and that's why okay. I would recommend people to come to the school. It's a happy environment and Shana's mystery is, you know, she's the person who really sets the tone for this school and people could learn a lot from her other principals, so great place to come. Okay. So how likely are you to recommend uh, Little Elves to other parents 100%. on a scale of... Uh, in fact, I do it all the time. Um, when people come to the city or they've got children this end, I'm very often saying to them, go to Kalyaninaga, look, take a look at this little school. It's, it's small in compared to some of the bigger brands that have come up. Mm -hmm. And I actually have been involved with some of the other brands. I'm not going to name any okay. um, because they've asked me to be a consultant to them. Mm -hmm. And I would not rate them the same as this, frankly speaking. They might have a, as I say, they have, have a chain of, of schools around the world or they're setting up in India. This is not what they're about. They're a small entity and they're personal and they take every child as an individual and I think that's what's important. Okay. So 100% so I would recommend them and on okay. a scale of 1 to 5, 5 being the most excellent, 6 actually. Uh, okay. Alright, so that's my recommendation. Sure. So thank you so much for your time today, ma'am. You're welcome. You're welcome.